Hello there guys, it's Tev1990 here and we are back with a bit of a difference on this one. Um, as some of you guys may be aware, outside of uh, what I do for my normal job and making videos to put on YouTube, I do event first aid work. Um, I have a bit of a fascination with the emergency services through that. You know, I've worked very closely with, you know, the ambulance, police, fire services and all the rest of it. Um, so, and this uh, game is, as you can tell from the opening screenshot of it, is 911 Operator. Now basically, you, it, I would say it's a simulation game and you take on the role of the call dispatcher or the operator. You take the calls and you dispatch the units to their relevant um, or to the relevant calls. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much all I can say about it. So on the screen that we have up now, as you can see, we on the left hand side we have all of the staff that can be assigned to the units uh, there's no vehicles to assign and there is no more equipment to assign these are your squads or teams whichever you want to call it so we have the police then we have medical and then we have fire and then over on the other side oops there we go we have the staff that you can buy uh, more vehicles that you can buy and then equipment that you can obviously buy so we are actually in the uh, setup screen at the moment and I'm thinking the police oh wait, the city I've chosen it I've downloaded this city map onto the game and I've chosen London uh, it's obviously the capital city of England um, I was going to do kind of like small towns and things from around my area but I thought why not start with London you know because I think that would be uh, a good city to start with it's nice and big there's a lot of stuff that does happen in London and I think if we went to a small town or small smaller city, say, I don't know, Nottingham, um, there's not a lot of stuff that happens in Nottingham that really happens in London, I'd say. You know, London gets a more diverse... more diverse incidents. So, well, one thing is, obviously... The normal police within the UK do not carry firearms. Unfortunately, in this game, we can't exactly replicate that because I know that there are going to be firearms incidents. Um, I suppose I could replicate that and only have some vehicles that have got officers with firearms. That could potentially. Hmm. I don't know. No, I think I'm going to keep it as it is. So, the police units have their firearms. Medical, don't I don't think really need that much protection. However, our firefighters do not have their relevant suits. They're, so, we need, so there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's 10 firefighters, so we need to go into the equipment and see if we can purchase 10 of their fire suits, and how much are they? 2,500 each. So I don't think we're going to be able to get 10, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so we need 4 more. Okay. So now we need to equip said suits to firefighters. So we go down to that, da, 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 da. So, but there's a lot of stuff that you can buy 
for uh, your teams and things. So yes, we are four suits short. But they are the technical vehicles. So that shouldn't really be an issue as such. But we should see. So we are going to start the deployment. There we go. So this is the deployment screen. So we've now got to figure out where to base our units. So we have a police unit there, which is in a police station. There's lots of bloody hospitals around and medical centres. Flipping heck. I mean, just here, there's like all in this little area here. It's, wow. Okay. I think, personally, I think we've got the best spread out for our units here. So. I think we should be okay. So, we are going to start the duty. So as you can see now, our units have just started going around. We have a new incident, so red light offence. So we are going to wait. Right then. So, on the map you'll get these little markers that pop up that tell you of the current incidents so this one is a police incident as you can tell by the blue marker it is a red light offence so we are going to get our nearest police unit to respond to that offence and then as you can see they are responding so I don't quite know. Oh, there we go. We have a new call. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Good evening. I need help. Yeah. Obviously, in the UK, it name, would be. Uh, Jacob nine nine nine. Right. Where are you where calling, are you calling from? from? Around Gracechurch Street. Why'd you call nine one one? My cat climbed up a tree. And Oh, no. Nope. Excuse uh, me, sir. We can't help you at the moment. So? Your matter's not life-threatening. We can't help you right now. Thank you. So, there you go, guys. Occasionally you get calls like that. Right drug overdose right let's just pause that a second right so occasionally yes you will get calls like that and you obviously with the calls you have to decide whether to send units or whether they can sort it out themselves for a cat up a tree personally I wouldn't have sent um, the firefighters for that it is the age-old, um, you know, like misconception that cat gets stuck up a tree. You get have to send the firefighters and all the rest of it. Me personally, I wouldn't send that. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. I made a judgment call on that one, and hopefully, it was the right one. Because if not, I'm going to get marked down for it. So. Back to the matter at hand, we now have a drugs overdose. This is a medical call, as you can tell, with the white marker. We've picked our nearest unit, and we're now sending them to check that. I've also, there we go, we also have a speeding offence taking place. So, once again, our nearest police unit that isn't already on a job is going to respond to that oh okay right grab that one what's that that's another speeding offense and then this is what comes up when you get, if you get on the thing you get a situation report so they are talking 
to the guy oh this could be a good one here hang on let's just answer the telephone Right, so where did it happen? Where did this happen? Okay, how long ago did it happen? Great. Just wait for emergency services to arrive. Yeah, I will. So there we go. So we now right. So we have this is right. That green marker was obviously the telephone call. And on that there was reports of Uh, a robbery and also some injuries have been sustained so we are also going to send medical to that call right we also have another one here a beating person has been beaten by a group of thugs need for medical assistance injured one police intervention needed suspects two possibly armed so have I any available I do they're quite close by the only medical I have nearby oh hello I've got another medical over here as well right a fall right that's not immediate I would say so we could just dispatch a road vehicle to that I'm going to dispatch the helicopter to the beating it's unclear in my opinion whether that person who has been mugged it's unclear if their friend has been shot so I would prioritize that as low but with the beating you don't know how bad they've been beaten so we can dispatch units appropriate just speed it up a bit and like I say as you can see guys it is very uh, let's just dispatch the helicopter to that as well they can hopefully uh, there we go right we now have another one what is this wrong way driving okay so wait Call. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, there is a strange car parked here. Could you check it? Right. Where is it? Car In the shopping mall parking. Okay. But I need an address. Give me the address of where this car is parked, sir. Kilburn High Street, right. Okay. So what is it about this parked car that has you concerned? Private cars are not allowed to park here. Why is that, sir? It's for safety reasons. Maybe I'm overreacting, but could you send the police to check it? Oh, okay. Yes, of course. I'll send the police to check the car. Thank you. Bye. Now, given the current state of affairs in the world today, I am going to send the police to that. Because that could be a potentially dangerous situation right let's just check that one, that's fine and another thing that pops up as well whilst you're on scene you'll get these little messages pop up so the police are actually under fire at this precise moment in time um, let's just Crew 2. 
I don't know if they'd be armed or not but we can send them over just to provide support um oh hello right then. we have a fire alarm so smoke detects activated a fire alarm in students dormitory so there's a need for medical assistance and need for firefighter intervention a large fire oh dear okay um have i got any available medical yes i've got one on this side of the river awesome i also need some police to go up to this one because i totally forgot about that it's a good job i've just looked that way right i think we are all pretty much on jobs right these guys now need backup because they're under fire so we should send some more police to them Okay, the ambulance is going to the hospital. What have we got now? Speeding, okay. So, we shall go to that. We shall dispatch you to that. Okay, we have another call. 911, what's your emergency? Okay. If you can't talk, Please press any digit on your phone, okay? Oh. Okay. All right. Please press the button once if you're in a hostage situation and can't talk. Press twice if you're in a medical condition and you can't speak. All right. The place where you are, are the doors open? Press once for yes twice for no is your life in danger press once for yes twice for no all right we have your location is it I want you to wait for emergency services they're going to be there soon. okay right then so we'll just pause the game again as you can see with that one a person's uh, life is in danger and they were unable to speak because of a medical condition that they are going through at this precise moment in time so the operator was able to communicate with them via them pressing buttons on their telephone so we shall send medical to that situation um, have I right okay we also have this has just popped up biting oh dear me right have I got right I need the helicopter for that I'm going to send the helicopter to it and I'm also going to send a land unit uh, I think we shall also send the medical helicopter as well In fact, I've made a big mistake there. Right, I'm rerouting the helicopter to that situation there. We can wait for the land ambulance to come to there. I would say. If a land ambulance is going into it, which I don't think it is actually. That's right, I shall reroute that land ambulance then so wait rerouting land ambulance happy days yeah because the only reason I've rerouted the helicopter was because obviously that person's life is in danger and they need immediate assistance so you do learn very quickly what to how to go about these things okay where was the car crash okay 
When did it happen? Okay. Are there any injuries? No, not that. You know who caused the accident? The other driver. He's not getting drunk. Right. Blocking traffic. Yeah, but completely destroyed. All right, sir. Please wait for the emergency services to arrive. Okay. Thank you. Right. So I now have a traffic incident to attend. We've just had a, a sharp tool injury pop up as well. So what are the police doing here? Let's just get a situation report. They're taking statements. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So. We need the technical truck to go to there. Nobody's injured, however, a driver is drunk. So we shall require the police. Alright, sharp tool injury. Um, yeah, I'd say that'll warrant the air ambulance. So, we're now just. Uh, Responding to this incident here, the police are now checking this. Still, oh, we have a new call. Nine one one, what's your emergency? Hello, my stomach hurts really bad. Oh, diddums. Right, <laughs> what is your address? How long so have you long been have hurting? Um, it's about two weeks, I guess. Right. So why haven't you gone to a doctor, sir? I wasn't able to do it. I took a few days off of work, but the pain was so overwhelming. I literally haven't gotten out of my bed since Tuesday. You should go see your doctor as soon as possible. 911 is for emergencies. I, I hope you understand that. So I can't send an ambulance in this kind of case. Seriously? I knew I could go to the doctor before I called you. Thanks for <laughs> Why didn't you go to the doctor then? Pillock. Right. And unfortunately, that is the case in a lot of uh, calls now to the UK uh, emergency services, particularly the ambulance. Um, they think that the ambulance is just there as a taxi service and God knows what else. But, uh, yeah, obviously it's not and a lot of people, including myself, get really uh, upset about that. So, back to the game. Uh, we have a chemical hazard, so we need the technical truck. So we do actually have another one. There's one down here obviously responding to an incident. What is this responding to? What was the call? Car crash. Okay. Um, it looks like that they finished on this incident now. So we've just got to wait for the police to sort out that was the loud party one, wasn't it? I'm sure it was. Right. Pickpocket in Wandsworth... Was that Wandsworth Road? Right, anyway. We're going to send the police bikes down to there. Have a new call or home invasion. 911, what's your emergency? Right. Oh great. Right. Sir, keep calm. Where are you? We were heading to hospital, but we got stuck in a traffic jam. There is no way we can get out of here. Please help us. Okay. Where are you? Can you give me an address? We're stuck here. That's awesome. Right. Any contractions? So I'm now setting all to go to that. 
that are uh, available. Sir, I've sent an ambulance, but it may not arrive before the baby does. Everything's going to be fine. <laughs> be a man. Yeah? We're expecting a girl. So we'll name her Lucy after my grandma. That's a beautiful name. Sir, I need you to stay calm, okay? You're going to listen to my instructions, and together we're going to take care of your wife and Lucy. Sound good? Okay. Let's do it. What should I do first? Right. First, you need to... Lie your wife down. Your wife comfortable on her back on a steady flat surface. Okay, wait. I'll make some space on the back seat. Okay, what's next? Alright then. You need to take off your wife's clothes. Squeeze your wife from the waist down. So you're gonna have to help her take her pants off. She shouldn't have anything on below the waist. Sure. Honey, you need to take off your pants. Let me help you. Done. Awesome. Right. Relax now, and wait. Your wife should try to relax and breathe deeply. She's probably going to have an urge to push very soon. Okay. Relax, sweetheart. Take deep breath. Yes, like that. Oh, can you see the head? Okay, wait until the baby is out. You'll need to be ready to catch her and protect her from falling. <laughs> Coming out on a bungee cord. <laughs> oh my god. She's here. It's a girl. Our baby. I thought you knew you was having a girl. Sir. Is Lucy breathing? Is she crying? She isn't crying. I don't know. I don't know if she's breathing. Okay, don't panic, sir. Here's what you're going to do. If she's not crying, you may need to clear her airway. Use your little finger to remove any mucus from her mouth, and then turn her over face down and give her good, strong pats on the back between the shoulder blades. Happy days. You should put Lucy on your wife's stomach. I want you to check and see if the umbilical cord is still pulsating. No, it isn't. Find something to tie the umbilical cord. It can be anything. Ribbon, string, even a clean shoelace. Now, I want you to tie a knot on the umbilical cord about an inch and a half from Lucy's back. Ah. It's done. Should I cut it? No. It isn't necessary, sir. You can wait until you're at the hospital. Okay. The traffic jam looks a bit smaller. Should I drive to the hospital or an ambulance will arrive? Just wait. The ambulance is almost there. Right, so I'm going to pause that now. <laughs> Flip it heck. Right, so we have a drunk driver to deal with, and then we also have a loss of consciousness. Okay, right. We have a lot of responding units to that call. Oh dear, yes we do. Right, we can get... A police off of that we can get a land vehicle to that we can send a police to there we also need an ambulance to there what is that anyway? A home invasion. Okay, I'm gonna 
Okay, I think we should. Epilepsy attack. Okay, stand by, stand by, stand by. You can go to the epilepsy attack. That should make it a hell of a lot easier. Where is the unconscious male? Okay. Did you see him pass up? No, he was on the ground when I found him. Okay, that's fine. So, is he breathing? Yeah, I think he's breathing. Okay. Does he have any visible injuries? A black eye, and there's some blood on his face. Okay. Cool. Okay. I'll send. Right. I am going to send an ambulance. I'm also going to send police. Um, as you can tell, guys, with this game, it does get very manic very quickly. Um, so, we just need to... Oh, good God. Okay, suicide attempt. Right, I need a technical truck. I need a technical truck. There we go. Technical truck. You can respond to that. That's the home invasion. That's going to get sorted. That is a... That's being sorted as we speak. What is that? That is the loss of consciousness. Where... Right, police transport is required down there. So, we're going to send a car down to them. And this is the unconscious male in the street. There we go. I think all the incidents are now being sorted. Oh, great. Drugs overdose. Awesome. Have I got any available? Right, the only thing I've got available is them. Okay. And again, I need more available for that. Another call. 911, what's your emergency? A murder has been committed. Oh, lovely. Okay, what's the address? This happen? Okay. Who's the murderer? Tell me who's the murderer? I am. I am. Oh, what a guess. Right, who's the victim? Who's the victim? It's my wife. Could you send the police here? Okay. Yeah. How did it happen? It was a... We had an argument. It was self-defense. Hmm. By self-defense? She had a knife. Do you have a weapon? Yeah, I have a gun. Right. You're going to need to put the gun away, okay? Yes. I'll... I'll put it on the table. I'm nowhere near the gun. Stay where you are. Wait for the police. They're going to be there shortly. They'll take care of this. Okay. I'll wait. Thank you. <sighs> oh, dear me. Right. So we ha have a murder. Aye, there's been a murder. And we have another fire alarm, which is a technical job. Where is my spare technical? Right. Is that... Right. You're going to need to go to that, I'm afraid, guys. And we're going to send the police helicopter there, as well as the land unit. Tell you what. Oh, that 
ambulance will be there before you guys anyway right I think we can manage that now Oh, okay, there is another one. Beating. Okay. Right, so... This is going to go well. Because I need... A lot of police officers. attend this scene could I get away with redirecting so oh, we shall redirect the helicopter to this scene and we're also going to send the air ambulance to this scene as well And the only reason for that is because we have three suspects possibly armed. So the air ambulance is there first. Under fire, need backup. Well, I've got a lot of police there now. So that should help with the. Uh, mess there this is the only one of the only incidents that we have left so the air ambulance is now leaving I think there's going to be a lot more medical attention needed Right, this is the only incident now and there we go guys we have done it we have completed our first duty there we go <laughs> right so let us go into the uh, there we go right then so all of the reports that we had we had the cat in the tree which we ignored which was the right thing to do we resolved the red light offence the drugs overdose the speeding another speeding the beating the fall the wrong way driving the speeding the robbery empty call the fire alarm the parking violation the biting sharp tool injury stomach ache ignored minus four why did we get marked down that the caller had severe stomach ache the operator decided the case was not urgent enough to send in emergency medical services okay yes but why did we get marked down for that unless he had yeah if you have stomach ache for two weeks this is what I mean there you go so the rest of them by the looks of it were resolved in a very timely manner it's just that one that we ignored that we got four for four 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 okay so total cases resolved 30 in prison five billed 13 hospitalized nine dead zero way healed slash assisted 22 reputation is 68 and we made a total profit there of 80,000 251 which I think is fantastic so let's just go back a nice little profit there guys so there guys uh, I hope you enjoyed this video I'm going to do some more of these because I quite like the uh, 
game itself and everything uh, I'm going to equip some of our personnel with a few more items now and uh, we shall see you in the next video bye bye for now